Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back to Core Keeper. Alright, last episode we set up some automation. I managed to finish this off and I reconfigured the farm, so it looks pretty good. I did turn the farm off because it is pretty powerful and we got uh, quite a bit of wood for now, so I don't think we're going to need any more at this very moment. Got over 2k, so that's pretty good. Uh, one of the things I want to try to do today is see if we can find this uh, third boss. So if we use this... Uh, little thing there that we made that you can make this from here and this should scan and find the next boss for us so now we know he's way over here so now we're just going to go over here and do some adventuring and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into today and maybe what kind of stuff we can find right all right let's head off and adventure away so also in between episodes i was doing a bunch of mining around the base preparing for like base expansion and I did come across another teleporter which was the one for the boss here so I'm assuming this one here is for the optional boss I think it's like the brood mother so I think that one's probably really close nearby so we'll end up having to do that at a later time but uh yeah that one's actually gonna be pretty easy to defeat there's some ways to kind of cheese that one out so Uh, what do we have here? Looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a chest over there. Take you out. What do we got here? Got some stone pants. Nice. Take the resources in the chest, I guess. Anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. But we're really close to the... Um, where we need to go. Looks like uh, this is like the entrance, possibly. But there should be a, a teleporter nearby. Oh, well, looks like we got another chest here. Physical range damage. Oh, well, yeah. I'll take that. What is that? A ring. Max damage. I wonder if that would help. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that would help uh, the, the minions, but maybe not. All right. So it looks like we found the entrance to where we need to go. So let's uh, arm ourselves. Let's eat a little bit here. Get some buffs going on. All right. Let's get in here. Little boys. Oh. If I can hide in there and let the uh, let the minions do some work. Oh. Come on, boys. Oh man, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm gonna try to see if there's any spawn tiles in here too. Any spawn tiles and try to get rid of them. Hmm, keys and all kinds of good stuff, huh? Oh, why is that? Oh, okay, yeah, I made a better one. What kind of ring is that? Minion lifespan. Oh, yeah. I think that would be great. Alright, so I'm gonna have to, <clears throat> when I find that portal I'm gonna have to make sure I come back and pick all this stuff up god knows what all this stuff is all right hey man gotta dodge a bunch of fireballs there we go not bad not bad get over there Oh yeah, good stuff. Just break it all and come back for whatever's left over, I guess. We got uh, another room here. What 
That looks like an axe that's on the ground over there. Hey, man. Nice shot. <laughs> Take that. I should just use my torches. Good. Get the skills up. One on one, no minions. All right, <laughs> let's get these guys out here. I should take these. Oh, wait, nothing else spawns. Oh, nice try. Get them, guys. Good stuff. Oh, there's a lot of shamans in there. Go in a big guy. Shaman scares me more than the big guy does. Just because he's got that fire and... I don't dodge sometimes all that great. <laughs> Alright, let's pick all this stuff up so nobody else can spawn. That's good. Alright. Big guy over there. Does he fit through there? Oh, he does too. Oh. Get in here. Rather do the whole oh crap, see? Nice try, boy. Oh, we got an idol. That's cool. Actually I'll take that. Let's uh turn all these into torches. There we go. That sounds good to me. Can lay a little bit of this up too. Let's get some new minions out. Oh, that was close. Oh, you did get me, bastard. I'll heal. Alright. Break all this garbage. Wonder what that stuff is. I wonder. Alright, I don't know if you can spawn here while I go and come back. All that good stuff. Let's find out where <clears throat> this next area leads. All right. Oh, that looks like the boss in the middle here. Yeah. Usually there's a teleporter nearby. Let's see if we can find where that thing is. Because I'm sure we didn't investigate the whole whole area because you see a bunch of stuff up here. A lot of guys too, a lot of chests. So this is where the boss is going to be. So we'll come back here and we'll prep this whole area. And we get a throne too and we're all done. <laughs> Take his throne, it'll be our throne. Alright. There's got to be another way. Let me look at the map here. Yeah, right here, right at the beginning. Okay. A lot of rings on the ground, a lot of materials. Oh, I should pick this up too. Awesome. Forgot it. Didn't see that. This is probably why some of the guys spawned back. Hey, wake up. Time to die. There you go. What are we doing for skills? I seem to be doing pretty good. Well, low health, yeah, you never know. And then to lose, not to lose equipment durability when taking damage. Hmm. I don't know. I use my tools a lot. I'll do with the tools. And then if I have to like respect later, I'll I'll respect later. Anything else? No. All right, let's go up here. Let's 
Oh, hey, man. Yeah, you can shoot him anytime, guys. Nice. Alright. Go this way. Or we can go up. Treasure chest here. Stone chest plate. Some valuables. Take them in of the ores and stuff. Leave the rest for now. Come back for everything. Mind you, I could just start throwing stuff in the chest too. And just come back for all those chests afterwards. That's a pretty good idea. I like kind of the sound of that. It gives me opportunity to uh, just pick up everything and put it in one spot. There we go. What did I have here? Food or something? There we go. We'll just throw everything in there. And then I'll come back. Alright. What do you got here? Wake up, guys. Alright, you guys got those. Very low on mana. Sorry. I was a little busy trying to feed myself. Alright. The rest of you guys. Y'all running in a circle. Oh, crap. Just don't hit the, uh, the obstacles. Alright, so we got some new stuff. There you go. These are just normal tiles. I'll take them for decoration around the base or something. There we go. <clears throat> I'll go get that other stuff. It dropped on the ground. Alright, let's get some minions out here. I think this looks like the last room that we got to investigate before we go and Check out the boss room. Oh yeah, there's a hole here too, huh? Hey guys. You guys are sneaky. Alright. Well, it looks like there's more. That's good. All that stuff for a future mob farm. Alright, let's get up here. Oh, nice. That's good. Oh, a toilet. Yes. Exactly what we need. You guys are pretty easy. Okay, so there's more up that way. I'll have to go investigate that after. So we got ourselves a big brute in the corner here. And a chest too. That's nice. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Uh oh. I'm out of, out of guys. Yeah, I should have to go get... Uh... No, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty quick, I'll have to admit. There we go. Try to get some minions out here. <laughs> hey, buddy. Start shooting you at least. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, try to find something to make uh, mana potions. I don't know if that's a thing. Or a food that uh, regens your mana faster. That'd be great. Alright. What do we got here? Uh, a wild warden ring. I don't have a pet yet. 
but uh, that might come in handy for later. Okay, let's grab the chest. Let's continue on. Get up in here. Oh, crap. That's exactly what I wanted to do to you. <laughs> Wasn't really paying attention. There you go. Caught me off guard. Come on, die. Now ah, we'll go across. Should be good now. A lot of guys, though. Got another chest over there. That's cool. Let's go over here and get that then. There's a guy here, and of course, there's a guy there hiding. Nice. Thanks for opening the chest for me. Okay, so this would have been possibly another entrance as well. I guess if you would have dug here. Cool. Alright. Oh, we got lots of guys in here. Look up, guys. Let these guys do all the work. Try to, anyways. Now I can save on summoning more. That's good. Oh, that was really close. Almost sacrificed to myself. There you go. about done here. This looks like the last room. I like opening those chests for me, don't they? So you can give me the opportunity to see what's inside. Alright, pretty much all the same stuff. Alright. That's good. That's good. Stuff to sell, I guess, really, in the end. Let's go uh, out to the boss area and check that. Usually I thought there was supposed to be like a teleporter near him. Maybe that's what that is up here. It looks like there's like another way here to go. So maybe we didn't investigate all of it. That's the edge of that. the big guy is going to come first, right? That's okay. These guys should be able to handle them. There you go. Oh, I got a cabling chest piece. I'm going to get some buffy ronies. Oh, completely missed twice. Three times, four times. I'm glad they got better aim than I do. <laughs> Alright. Oh, thanks. Aw. Oh, walked right into that. It's fine. This is a pretty big cave, to be honest with me. I didn't think it was going to be that big.
I think I went back to bed, thanks. There we go, it gives me a chance to gain some mana, never mind. Dodgy dodgy. There we go. Oh, there's the teleporter. Alright, good stuff. I knew there was going to be one nearby. Just wasn't sure where it was going to be. Nice. So this is like the beginning of the cave, I guess. Beautiful. all nice and lit up. I got a bunch of spawn tiles over there that I'd like to have. There we go. Get some more guys out there. Now uh, that we got the spawn tile, I think I'll go back and forth and uh, try to uh, empty our inventory a little bit and maybe empty those chests as well. Alright, so we've gone ahead and uh, prepared the boss area after completing the entire cave. A uh, little system here, which is pretty good. So this boss, uh, you have to summon him. And the, or the way to summon him is by taking these crystal skull shards that you find and then having three of them in your hand and creating a skull. And this is what you're gonna place down on here. So we're gonna summon a couple of these guys first. All right, that's pretty good. Let's get some food buffs going. And then we'll just toss this thing right here. And then the best of luck to us. All right. Uh, so I just gotta try to dodge his uh, his fireballs oh, and him teleporting and stuff. Oh, that's not doing very good. Let's uh, take a heal potion. And about halfway or so, he'll start, uh, or maybe less than halfway, he should start getting a little bit more violent and start chasing us and trying to punch us and stuff. But things are going pretty good. Just gotta try to uh, avoid his fire on the ground. All right, let's put out some more minions because uh, we're just about to out. There we go. I think we we got him. Oh, he's got another form. This is his other form. It's when he starts to punch us and do us no good. So we'll just make sure that uh, our minions are still doing their thing. There we go. Try to dodge as much as we can. Let's take a health potion. Pretty good. There we go. And I think he's dead. And now we kill him. Yeah. Toast. Now we get all of his stuff. That was pretty good. Managed to uh, get most of our, all of our traps back anyway. So this was like 200 and some, 215 traps in order to, uh, to get all that. So what did we get here? A shaman skull. Uh, it's good if we're doing burn damage, right? Um, and that's what we put in the thing. So yeah, all right. I'm going to go and pick all this up and we'll uh, meet you back at home. So we're back home now. Time to go put in our little crystal here. Ritual dagger, blue leather tome. All nearby enemies burn. It's pretty good. Equipped on offhand. Huh. I'd be good with combination of that thing that I got. Interesting. All right, so let's talk to the, uh... Thou has awakened us. Yes. 
Never have we seen a creature such as thee. There once was a thriving civilization here, but it seems all of it has been lost. <laughs> we must have been dormant for eons. We wonder. We must ask something of thee. Seek the ancient titans still roaming beyond the Great Wall. Destroy them and collect their souls. That sounds like a great thing to do. With their energy, we can restore once what, what, what once was. In return, thou shalt be able to go back to whence thou came. Camest. <laughs> By the power within with which <laughs> now imbue thee, the great wall shall be opened as thou loyalist layest a hand upon it. Wow. <clears throat> My Shakespeare is a little bit rough. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So now, uh, just beyond this area, there should be like a wall surrounding the, uh, well, this area. <laughs> And we're going to have to go out there and touch it and uh, drop the wall. And then once we do that, we should be able to find the Atheist biome and the um, the ocean. So let's go for a little walk, shall we? And uh, also, these are all the trinkets and stuff that we got from here. I'll just put the traps in. Oh, yeah, too bad I'm not a mage. All right. And then we got our nice little new chest as well. That's beautiful. All right, let's go for a little walk and see what uh, kind of stuff we can find. All right, so we're going to start off from the waypoint out here because it's like the closest to the edge of the map right now, I think. So we'll just start mining out this way and uh, we'll see what we come across. All right, so this is the uh, Great Wall. I should place my hand upon the wall. Uh, do I literally have to touch the wall? Oh, there we go. I think you just gotta run up against it. I'm not quite sure. That seems what it seems like what it is. All right, so now we've unlocked the next area. So let's uh, kind of pillow over here. The Desert of Beginnings. Oh, okay. I think this is the actual next area that we truly need to go in, actually. Oh, higher damage, huh? Okay. Maybe we'll go the opposite way, since we know the desert's on that side, so we need to get to the Atheist. Hmm. All right, let's try the other side. Oh, welcome to the next biome, everybody. It looks like we found the ocean biome. The sunken sea. Well, that's pretty good. Alright, so now we know where the sea is. This isn't the biome I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for the A Azos biome. So, let's get down here for a second. So, we know this, the desert is here. The Azos is here. So, that means um, the... Uh, the well, my lord. Desert is here. The uh, sea is here. That means the Azos is here. So that means I gotta get on this side. Alright, let's go that way. Oh, I also found another node here. <laughs> Alright, so this is the biome that we've been looking for. This is called the Azos. And what we're looking for here is water. And awesome. Now that we've found some water, I'm going to spend some time fishing here because if you do a lot of fishing, you're going to find a item called a drill and it is a scarlet drill. And if we can get that puppy, oh boy, that would be great. So I believe I have a fishing gear here. Uh, it's mining and fishing and that's all fishing. That's good. That's pretty good. I didn't know that was for, for mining. Cool. All right, so I'm going to spend some time here, and I'll be back when I find uh, what I'm looking for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We got ourselves our Scarlet Hand Drill. This thing is great. So, 
Now these are the things that you're going to get from this biome. You're going to get trench coats and mercenary tank tops and pants. A bunch of variety of different fish, keys, um, some valuable stuff to sell, scarlet ore. And you'll also get scarlet chests, which I haven't gotten any yet. But I think that's uh, pretty good for mining for now. So just to give you a, a basic idea of how good this is. A lot better than this. Let me grab my pickaxe here. Yeah, huge difference, eh? Huge bloody difference. All right, so now that we have that, we'll head back to base and we'll figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the episode. So that looks like it's about all the time that we're going to have for today. Uh, we're pretty productive. We managed to get uh, the last boss defeated, Malagas the Corrupted. Now you're dead and join your brothers. Uh, we managed to bring down the wall. And then we also found this awesome drill. And we got to map out a little bit of the area. So now we know where the biomes are. Uh, Atheus. We got the sea up here. And then we have the desert down on this side. So that's pretty awesome. At least we have a good idea of where the next little things that we're going to be hunting for. And I don't have to look as hard. And then I want to try to do some more mining as well. And probably get a lot more scarlet for the next episode so that way we can upgrade our table and everything and kind of go from there so i hope you enjoyed the video everybody like subscribe peace take care and we'll see you next time Bye bye